What up, YouTube? It's Miserates Company. The patch has just came to the game in Diablo Immortal, and I want to make sure that you get a jump start and you prioritize what you're doing right now in the game because this patch has been massive. There's a lot to do, but there are a few things you're going to want to do in a certain order to make sure you mid max your approach. Now, let's get straight to it, guys. Now, like I said, we a lot has changed with this most recent patch. The first thing being that we can now equip two main and offhand weapons, as well as double down on two additional legendary gems. This is going to be a massive combat rating. So, in order to do so, if you do not, if you didn't take my my advice in advance and farm some either main hand or offhand legendaries for you to equip, you're going to want to go over here to the uh, antique. Uh, rarities and antique antiquities and then go ahead and try to spam your luck i will do so as well uh go ahead and do shop and then you're going to spam this first one the mysterious weapon uh and i got okay boom first one got a legendary main hand it looks like i'm gonna keep going see if i can get a off hand just for the video and i did not so after that you want to go ahead and identify it and then equip them as well as the legendary gems that you have been saving um i might personally don't have any great legendary gems so i'm going to be rocking uh my two star ones probably the mother's lament since we've been getting a lot of free ones of those but that's a that's a story for another that's a video for another time now the next thing you're going to do after you do equip your brand new legendary main uh main hand and off hand is you want to go ahead get your war band together or just go to the demonic portal. Reason being is that the server paragon has been now boosted to level 800. So you're gonna be getting the benefits of your bonus experience from your battle pass. Hopefully you have saved all your battle pass like I suggested that you do yesterday if you watch that video, which is why you should be subscribed to this channel. And then you should be coming over here with either with your warband or at least your um, just a raid group and then pumping out this mother effer right here on hell eight difficulty. Obviously I haven't done everything yet. I just wanna run through this video and make sure I have it ready for you. Um, so you wanna go ahead and get your combat rating as high as you can, knock this guy out so that way you can jump into inferno difficulty as soon as possible. You might not be able to do this today. I don't know if I will be able to, especially with my warband, we wanna coordinate a little bit, but you want to go ahead and get a jump start on this as soon as you can. If you're someone that has already a high combat rating and you got the boost from your new either legendary um, equipped items or your legendary gems that you equipped in those new equipped slots, then maybe you can get close enough to knock this out. I would highly, highly, highly suggest doing so. That way you can go to the new Inferno difficulty and start grinding because keep in mind, the Inferno difficulty will unlock several different things. First, you get better gear, better legendaries drop from it that I will cover in a video later today on what the new legendary essences are and which ones are gonna be the best for your classes. But two, you also get to unlock the new stance system for your class, both, both defense and offense have benefits to you as well as a passive. So it's just free power basically, or free strength if you consider it that way within the game for Diablo Immortal. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do that as soon as possible and start grinding those new legendary essences. I will be pumping out videos as quickly as I can on the different legendary essences as I unlock them. But like I said, later today, I have a video scheduled for you guys on what are the best legendary essences for all classes. So again, you have now unlocked your two different main and offhand weapons. You've equipped them. You have your new legendary gems. You're gonna put them in, even if they're rank one, rank two, whatever, just put them in, get the bonus um, combat rating from it, go into your raid, pump that out. If you can get an, a high enough rating for that, start going back to doing your dailies and everything else and then start farming. That is gonna be what you're gonna to wanna to do right now in Diablo Immortal now that the new patch has come to life. And I hope to see you guys here in the next video coming out in just a few hours with which best legendaries are which for the new ones that are farmable in the new Inferno 1 difficulty. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What is your combat rating at now that the new update is out and they've had the adjustments? And you can now equip both a, a second main hand, a second off hand in new legendary gems. Let me know in the comments below what your combat rating is. Let's see who can get the highest. Until next time, guys, lock it in.